Hello, everybody. This is my second album, poetry album, and uh, it's entitled Corona the Leveler. It comprises six uh, poems, namely the title poem Corona the Leveler, Just Sounds, My Teacher, At the Beach, When They Wash, and Downloaded or Born. The first uh, poem, Corona the Leveler, uh, came into mind when I was thinking about the poem I read about in secondary school by a 15th century uh, poet, English poet, James Shelley. His poem entitled Death the Leveler uh, kind of moved me a lot when he says the common denominator of all men is uh, death and that people can still remember us if we do good. So that's just more of a looking at that poem in a new fashion. Corona the leveler, where uh, we know what it means. People are dying today. People are having difficulties with their life because of this pandemic. But even in that, being a bad thing, people can still fi find joy in their lives when they remember to work together as a family and then still can remember each other, one another, even if the worst happens. So we have hope that things will be fine. So this is just to encourage people that even though this levels humanity, we can still be good, doing good to one another. The second poem is entitled, Just Sounds. And this was born out of one inspiration that I was just looking at sounds. Suppose that there is a world without sounds. How would that world be like? And I was trying to contrast uh, two different kinds of sounds, uh, artificial sounds and natural sounds. Yes, some artificial sounds like music is beautiful, isn't it? But some artificial sounds have their negative size too. But in comparison with natural sounds, they are very soothing to the soul. So this is just to encourage people to use sounds in a positive way to touch hearts and move people. In fact, to do good. So whatever sounds you have, particularly even your voice, can be used for a positive thing. So that's the, the story behind that uh, poem and how we can, we can all use sounds in a positive way. Then the third one is my teacher. Coming from a family of teachers and having a profound love for teachers, I think this is a dedication, uh, a poem dedicated to teachers and the hard work they do in transforming lives and making people who they are. Everybody who has gone to school has passed through the hands of a teacher. And uh, this is to say, great work, teachers. Kudos to all that you continue to do in behalf of humanity. Keep the good work up. I think this is a good one for teachers. And then we have uh, at the beach. This came about when I was in Cape Coast at Ghana. You know, Cape Coast has some part of the beach being rocky. That day was not so good a day for me. I went to the seaside to take some breather and to enjoy nature. I was not very happy. But looking at the rock in the sea and see how strong uh, it was without uh, moving, I drew some inspiration from the, hawk, the rock that regardless of the troubles that we face, we can stand still as a rock does in the middle of uh, the turmoils of the, the sea and, uh, and be happy. So that is just drawing inspiration from nature, that we can draw some strength from nature in our low times, as it happened to me. So this is simply to encourage people. And then another poem, When They Wash. Uh, this one was born out of inspiration, looking at just the clouds, very foamy white. And I began to wonder imaginatively, where from this for me, water. Maybe there are some people up there washing the woes and the troubles of the world and their foamy water spreads across the horizon into what we call clouds. A sheer imagination. Of course, not real, but poem, poetry is born out of imagination. So, yes, the troubles of the world, the difficulties we face, maybe there are some people up there washing them and then it falls back to us as rain. So, out of sheer uh, imagination that was born for just the enjoyment of uh, imagination and creativity. 
Then the final one is entitled Downloaded or Born. Uh, this is uh, a child, a baby actually complaining to his or her parents that they have neglected it to uh, have too much time for electrical gadgets like the mobile phone. And so that baby is complaining, that, well, am I born? If I'm born, give me attention. Oh, am I downloaded? You know, when we download files, we don't pay so much attention to them as we should do to humans. So the baby is complaining, that, oh, please take, take care of me. Pay attention to me. So this is just a reminder to all of us who are parents that, yes, we have mobile phones, but let us take more time for our children than we would use for our, our mobile phones and electrical gadgets. So this is just babies speaking to their parents that, please, we are not downloaded. We are born. Take care of us. Also born out of imagination, of course. So this is going to be an interesting journey. We urge all of you to... Take some time and listen carefully to these poems of the album Corona Deleveler. Thank you very much. <laughs>